The behavior of materials is described within the framework of the model of damaged material using the previously proposed model of thermal trip for unradiated heat resistant alloys, supplemented by taking into account the effects of irradiation in a given range of temperature and radiation intensity. For considered alloys, according to known experimental data, in the considered range of change in temperature and irradiation intensity, the most significant effect of irradiation is manifested only in a noticeable change in the thermal creep rate and the appearance of brittle fracture effects during creep. To describe the creep strain rate, the creep model of unradiated material is used, supplemented by taking into account the effect of radiation. Here is the creep strain rate of unradiated material. Fc is a function that takes into account the effect of the natron flux F on the strain rate of thermal creep. Theta is a parameter characterizing the level of stresses at a given point in material. Cf is the radius of the creep surface of the irradiated material. A simplified approximation of the Fc function is used in the form. The depends of the initial creep limit of the irradiated Cf material on the current temperature and natron flux is also presented in the form of a simple approximation, where Fp is a function that takes into account the effect of irradiation on the radius of the initial creep limit depending on the temperature and the value of the flux of natron F. C F T saves C C radius of the initial creep surface of unradiated material as a variable that determines the process of damage accumulation during creep of the irradiated material. The distraction energy is assumed, uh, the change of which at the loading step is determined by the ratio. The corresponding change in the damage function and the damage measure for creep is taken as this and this, where function V is the limit value of the creep fracture energy corresponding to the current type of stress strain state characterized by the parameter P. The effective temperature T and the value of the natron flux F is assumed based on the ratio. Where V0 is the limit value of the creep energy of an unradiated material under unilateral tension. Fr is a function that takes into account the effect of the natron flux F on the limit value of the creep energy. F1 is a function of the stress strain state. Due to the possibility of manifestation during creep of a number of heat resistant alloys under the condition of irradiation of brittle fracture effects, it was necessary to introduce additional changes into the model described above, which allow taking into account the effect of these effects on the behavior of alloys. In particular, such a correction was introduced into the brittle fracture model implemented in the UPEX computer complex for modeling fracture process of unradiated materials. The description of brittle fracture effects is based on the kinetic equation for changing the damage measure of which allows 
us to represent the development of virtual fractal ethics as a quasi stationary process determined by the relations. Where the predicted values of the principal tensile strengths effective stresses sigma zero destructive values of effective normal stresses under uniaction tension C regularization parameter. To simulate bridge refracted process, the assumption is made that the destructive values of the effective normal states become a function of the natron flux F and the current value of the accumulated creep strain. To obtain the material functions of the model listed above, we use the results of basic experiments and the Research Institute of Mechanics for the considerate heat-resistant alloy without irradiation and the available experimental data on the creep of this alloy under irradiation. Based on the model proposed above, a numerical method for solving problems of high-temperature creep of structures made of heat-resistant alloys under neutron irradiation has been developed and implemented in the framework of the EPEX computing complex. To verify and illustrate the capabilities of the developed methodological and software tools, a number of problems were solved for modeling high temperature creep and fracture of structural elements made of the heat resistant alloy under consideration. In the first problem, creep processes were numerically simulated using a fragment of the working part of the irradiated sample heated to temperature. For constant stress level, Uh, sigma yield strength of the material at temperature melting. The calculation results is the form of curves of creep strain versus time and are presented in the figure. The experimental curve in the figure is shown by a solid line and the results of numerical modeling are shown by a dashed line. The presented results show that the results of numerical modeling are in good agreement with the experimental results. In the second task, a numerical simulation of the deformation of a bellows fragment under high temperature force loading is performed. The slide shows a graph of the change in the time of creep deformation at the most loaded point of the bellows, showing a sharp decrease in the creep rate during expose. The resulting picture of damage distribution by the end of the exposed time on the inner surface of the bellows is shown on the slide. The third problem presents the results of numerical modeling of the process of deformation and fracture of a spherical shell illustrating the effect of brittle fracture of the material during irradiation as a result of the development of creep deformation. We consider the process of deformation of a spherical shell loaded with an internal pressure of intensity P symmetric about the axis of symmetry uh, when uniformly heated to a temperature and subsequently subsequent exposed at a given natron flux for some time to failure. The relative thickness of the sphere is 2%. The calculation was performed for a symmetrical part of the sphere. The internal pressure varied linearly along the actual coordinate from value P at uh, 2P at point B. The calculation used quadratic isoparametric finite elements of an axiomatic body. Loading was carried out in two states. Heating to temperature and raising the pressure to expose to the moment of destruction. As a result of the calculation, it was found that from the moment of exposure began, creep strains began to develop over the entire volume of the shell, the maximum creep rate of which was observed at point B. At time, 
at the point C of the sphere where the values of main tensile stresses were highest, the values of creep deformations are also close to the maximum, the process of brittle destruction began. Sequently capturing the nearest points of the sphere due to stress redistribution. The slide shows graphs of the time defense of the creep strain and fracture. fracture. At the point of the sphere C. A numerical method and mathematical models describing the process of high temperature creep and destruction of heat resistant alloys in the conditions of thermomechanical effects taking into account the effects of irradiation are proposed. Based on the experimental information, the parameters of material functions or the thermal creep model for the considered heat resistant alloy are determined. Verification of the proposed models and obtained material functions was performed by reconstructing the original deformation curves based on numerical modeling. A numerical study of the stress strain state of a bellows fragment made of a heat resistant alloy under high temperature heating, the action of internal pressure and subsequent holding under load was carried out. In a numerical study of the process of deformation and fracture of the spherical shell illustrating the influence of brittle fracture as a result of creep deformation is performed. Thank you for the attention.